Eddie. Hey, Bobby. Sorry for showing up out of the blue. Wanted to talk to you before you started your shift. I'm always happy to see you. Come on in. All right. What did you want to talk about? My request to transfer back to the 118. OK, what's going on? Nothing. I realized I made a mistake, and I want to fix that. I'm ready to come home. We talked about this before you left. <laughs> I know, I know. You tried to talk me out of it. You were right. It wasn't about being right, Eddie. I just want to understand what's changed. It wasn't three months ago. You wanted to transfer out, and I went back in. Christopher was struggling. He wasn't the only one. You said that. I agreed to a transfer. We found you a spot at dispatch, but you don't seem better. Are you sleeping at all? It's been a rough few months. I don't think I gelled there. Yeah. I remember when I first went on medical leave. It was like all the noise outside stopped, but the noise inside my head got louder. I think sometimes the life we lead, the hours we keep, our focus on others' well-being, we wind up ignoring our own. That's not what's happening here. I'll, I'll be fine. <laughs> Once I'm back on the job. I think that might need to wait a little while. You're saying no? Is this punishment for leaving? No, this is concern. I'm not saying never, but for your sake and the sake of the team, I can't have you back the way you are right now. You need to go talk to someone, work out, whatever's going on. I don't need a mental health check. Just need my job back. You've known me long enough to know those things go hand in hand. I can go to another house. Well, you better hope they don't call me for a recommendation. <sighs> you know, when the brass was coming for you, and they're trying to fire you, I had your back. I supported you, and now you're trying to turn on me? Eddie, that's not what's going on here. I'm looking you're after you. You're gonna stand there with a hundred something bodies on you and tell me I'm not fit for duty? Go to hell, Bobby.